Alrighty then, hello and good evening YouTube and welcome back to Gran Turismo 3! We have seen this screen before, back when we were doing Lysan's challenges. But this time, it's completely different. Especially considering the fact that the, that, that, that the memory card died from an unexpected result. So we don't have any of the fucking license, so basically I have to do that again at some point. But not, not now, it doesn't matter right now. Gran Turismo 3 is a really interesting game. It's got all sorts of races in it. Actually, it only has, like, it has very little races, honestly. There are, uh, this is a very bare-bones Gran Turismo game. Normally, they are extremely big, but this one isn't. But the point that I'm trying to make is that this is, uh, this is Gran Turismo 3, and there's all sorts of races in this game. Look at all these races, dude. There's so many races. Well, how many races, we're going to answer this question today. How many races can you win, how far into the game can you get with only the PT Cruiser? That is right. The greatest car ever created. Is it a car or is it a truck? Nobody knows. It's the single greatest vehicle to ever hit the production stage. It was very successful, very reliable car. Everyone really liked it. And we're going to see just how far into this game we can get with just the PT Cruiser. So we're just going to use Stone White, considering the fact I'm probably going to have to get stoned after this gameplay through is over with. So we're in a PT Cruiser, all right? So, obviously, I don't have any of the uh, licenses, so we're really only going to be able to complete, what, these three before I'm going to have to go and find that. I could do Stars and Stripes, too, I guess. But we're going to do the Sunday Cup. We're going to start off where we where we always do in this game. Green Trees, both three. It's time to go. It is time to go. I'm excited. I'm excited. We're doing a nice scientific experiment today. We're trying to figure it out. Just how far into Gran Turismo 3 can we get with just the PT Cruiser? So this game, very intricate design. Got a, you got your tachometer in the bottom right there. You got your, oh jeez. Oh jeez. I don't know about that. There we go. Much better. You got your two camera angles is what you got. I don't know what one else is running suddenly, but... So we got the really intense music from the early 2000s playing in the background. <laughs> and we're in a PT Cruiser. Look at this. Mopar parts, dude. I have not played this game in a long time. I barely remember how this looks. And how this, this game just... It's weird is what it is. So you can see that the PT Cruiser is pretty awful. We're going 100 miles an hour right now. We're supposed to be in a race. And we're barely going over 100 at this point. So that's a good sign. That is a very good sign of things to come. So yes, the PT Cruiser, we can see that the PT Cruiser, as far as the first race in the Beginner's Cup is concerned, no problems. We can easily win this race with just the PT Cruiser. So that answer to that question, can you win the first race of the game with the PT Cruiser? Yes. The answer is yes. Coming through the final corner, of the first race of the game and you can see that it wasn't easy guy was right up my ass the whole time but we are going to be able to complete the first race of the game with just the PT Cruiser to the start finish line winner $1,000 right there that's gonna go great to upgrading the PT Cruiser nice visual effects there on that replay camera angle there that's for sure um, yes so you can see we are easily able to complete race number one. But the question is, we can complete a race with only left turns. What happens when we increase the amount of turns from not just left, but also right? We are going to do the second race of the Sunday Cup. Can we complete the second race of the Sunday Cup with just the PT Cruiser? We're about to find out. So here we go. Race number two. PT Cruiser's chugging along. We're getting closer to the lead. Ooh, we had to use the brake pedal there. Ooh. I have to take the perfect apex right now to get past these, these son of a guns, these uber talented drivers driving their Honda Civics, and their Honda Civics. Oh, here we come! We're coming to the big hairpin. Let's see if we can outbreak the Civic. 
The PT Cruiser has racing brakes installed, but stock, man! Ooh! What a crossover move there. Wow. Absolute pure talent on display by me and the PT Cruiser. So obviously it may seem like the PT Cruiser isn't exactly that amazing right now, but you see, we need to unlock the true potential of the PT Cruiser by slamming it into the wall and overdriving this corner. You see, we're not worthy, basically. We are not worthy this early in the game to know the true power, the true unbridled strength of the PT Cruiser. We have to wait our time. We have to buy it. We have to bide our time before we're able to unlock the true unparalleled power of the PT Cruiser. So why don't we continue to wait? And the answer to can you win the second race in the game with just the PT Cruiser, the answer, as you can plainly see, is a resounding yes. You can complete the second race in the game of Gran Turismo 3 with just the PT Cruiser. Boom, baby. Another thousand dollars and another replay that I'm not going to watch a minute of. So clearly we're able to complete race number one and race number two. But now the question on everyone's mind, can we complete race number three of the Sunday Cup and sweep the three Sunday Cup races? We're about to find out. Trial Mountain Circuit. This is a track that's been in Gran Turismo since the first game, I think. And is still in Gran Turismo to this day. So let's see if we can take to this legendary fake track and see if we can win ourselves another race in the PT Cruiser. Already, before we've even gotten to really the first corner, you have to slow down and we are in the lead. So you can see exactly what I'm talking about when I say the unparalleled strength of the PT Cruiser as I completely careen into the really weird rock structure walls here. But trust me, the PT Cruiser is fast. My favorite part about the Trial Mountain Circuit is how you can completely ignore the rules and regulations of the race and then kill yourself on the second one. Yay! Hooray for limited physics engines as far as jumping is concerned. A limitation of the PT Cruiser, yes, there are limitations to such a magnificent vehicle as that when you are playing in this camera angle, it is difficult to see behind you because your opponents will disappear behind the absolute thickness of your vehicle. So you have to go like that to see if anyone's actually behind you. So that is, a, that is one of very few limitations of the PT Cruiser. But truly, the rest of the vehicle is unmatched. And the answer as to whether or not you can complete the third race in Gran Turismo 3 with just the PT Cruiser has been answered. And it is a resounding yes. And that's another $1,000. So we've swept the Sunday Cup. Without a doubt, you truly can complete the first races in the game with the PT Cruiser, which means we have unlocked a new vehicle. And it's the car from Initial D. <laughs> so as you can plainly see, we can complete the Sunday Cup with just the PT Cruiser. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We have completed the first set of races in Gran Turismo 3 with just the PT Cruiser. But it's only going to get more difficult from here. So even though we're clearly at a huge advantage due to the fact that we're driving a PT Cruiser and no one else is, we may want to go to the parts shop just to take a look and see what we can get. So obviously, Luna lightening up the weight is pretty beneficial. I'd say that the PT Cruiser, another drawback may be that it's only slightly heavy. So why don't we do stage one and we'll lighten it up a bit. Don't know what that's going to change. We could probably have, you know, read what it says there. So, so we're going to remove some unnecessary parts, which obviously cannot apply to the PT Cruiser since every square inch of the vehicle matters in a in a guttural sense, the numerous advantages of a lighter car include enhanced acceleration performance, improved cornering and braking, and better tire durability. Well, we don't have to deal with tires quite yet, but we do have enough money for one more important upgrade, and that is the racing chip. The most basic upgrade, altering the engine management program settings, allows you to boost power by adjusting engine ignition timing, the air-fuel ratio, and other variables. For turbocharged vehicles, the air filter and end muffler are also replaced for beginner's level upgrade. And as you can see, we are going to increase by not only one horsepower, not two horsepower, 
but six horsepower. We don't even need that much more considering it's a PT Cruiser and absolutely unparalleled as far as speed is concerned already. But having that extra competitive edge is never bad. So we're moving on from the Sunday Cup to the Clubman Cup. Want to leave the amateur ranks? Try this race first for a challenge. There's absolutely no limitations here. It's the exact same money as last time. I think it's only just slightly more difficult. The tracks are a bit weirder. Rome Circuit, two whole laps around this windy race track in the first event of the Clubman Cup. Can we win it with just the PT Cruiser? We are about to find out. Let's go. Oh, and by the way, the Gran Turismo 3 soundtrack is absolutely phenomenal. This song is Grand Theft Audio, um, as good as it gets. Yes, that's the name of the song. It's fantastic. I highly recommend it. It was my outro music way back in 2013. We're going into an acute angle corner. May want to just use this camera angle just to make sure of things. Ooh, look at this perfect apex. Lewis Hamilton, eat your heart out. Truly, I am the greatest of drivers, especially considering I'm in a PT Cruiser. This race is looking a little bit more difficult than the last one. This guy in this car ahead of me, he's being a little feisty. It may be a bit more difficult getting around him than I may have initially imagined. No. No, it's just me. I am the one that's failing right now. I just need to learn how to drive this course better. I can't unlock the true strength of the PT Cruiser until I believe in myself. Come on! I can do it! I know what I'm doing in this car, in this vehicle that I am driving. I can outbreak this guy! I can win this! One competitive advantage of the PT Cruiser is that it has a high top speed, so despite the fact that I'm absolutely terrible at racing games, I'm still closing in on this guy regardless of the fact that I had a, oh, just an awful final corner exit. Yeah, it may look like there's a guy trying to pass me right now, but ignore it. I know what I'm doing. Well, it may not be the best way of going about things, but we're kind of kind out of options at this point. Ooh! Just one more corner. Just got to survive this. Just got to be smart. Just got to be smart, I say, as I careen towards the wall. And there you go. The answer to the question, can you complete the first race in the Clubman Cup with just the PT Cruiser? The answer is yes. And that's another $1,000 for me. Yeah, baby. So that was certainly more exciting than the Sunday Cup, but that doesn't mean that I am backing down. We are going on to the next race, and we're going to see if we can complete race number two with just the PT Cruiser. We're about to find out if it can be done. In fact, we are racing against a PT Cruiser this time around. My own brother in arms there. Let's see if we can compete together. And the second race of the Clubman Cup is underway. Can it be won with just the PT Cruiser? We're about to find out. This track has a special place in my heart. I love this place. So I'm way better here than I was at the other track. So I feel like this one won't nearly be as exciting, especially if I just wreck the guy. That, that, that makes things a lot easier. He's definitely put up a better fight this time around, but he's still no match for the un- comparable might of the PT Cruiser. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. The answer to the question as to whether or not you can win the second race in the Clubman Cup with just the PT Cruiser, the answer to that question uh, is that you can. The answer is yes. Yes, you can. Which means it's another $1,000 for me. So there you have it, the second race of the Clubman Cup complete. The question is, can we complete race number three with just the PT Cruiser? Well, the last one was pretty easy. Let's see if this one is the same. The third race of the Clubman Cup. The question is, can this race be completed with just the PT Cruiser? We are about to find out. And we are off. Can we complete... Race number three of the Clubman Cup with just the PT Cruiser. Let's go. Now this is a more difficult track. This is a place that I always get caught up in. 
no matter what series that we're driving and no matter how much of a faster car that I have than everyone else in the field. This is a place that I've had some difficulties in in the past, so this is a track that'll be a challenge to say the least, but not for someone driving a PT Cruiser, that's for sure. Maybe a challenge for me, but it won't be for the PT Cruiser, that is for sure, as I completely fall off the track. Perfect. That'll, get, that'll definitely get me the win. Oh, it's certainly going to come down to it, that's for sure. Oh, we're going to have to be perfect in these final few corners if we're going to get this win with the PT Cruiser. Here we go. Into the final corners. One more after this one. We have to be absolutely perfect. Here we go. Coming towards the line. And it's not enough. All right, that was a complete fucking waste of time. Obviously, it's way too fucking much to ask for, so we're just gonna go over here instead. GT Auto, we had 151 horsepower before coming here, but just changing the oil once will give you a ton of horsepower, even if it's not time to change the oil. Come take a look now, it was 151, now it is 159, that was more than the 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 racing chip thing and it was only 250 but i really don't want to play this game anymore so we'll just try it again next time next time on gran turismo 3 pt cruiser playthrough we find out if you can beat that final race in the clubman cup with just the pt cruiser we'll find out then but for now we'll see you in the next video that i make bye